This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Uh, Hi, Rose. Morning. Special guest today, Rove McManus. Hi, everybody. How are things? Are you well? <laughs> We're well. That's tremendous. Are you asking us or the greater listenership? Oh, look, I was actually asking the greater listenership. <laughs> it includes all of us in the room as well. Oh, because podcasts don't answer. We are well. <laughs> um, we brought you into a few different discussions. Uh, one was about Tony Collette today. It probably caught you off guard. Look, it was a question I did not see coming. <laughs> and I think it knocked me for a loop. But uh, most of us were happy with the answer. Not your cousin, well, Sean. I mean, because but... one person's wrong and he's angry. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. up there with uh, the great uh, revelation I had about Chico Rolls. Yeah. And sauce. And well, you're uh, wrong. We're, we're, we're both you're of you wrong, are wrong, wrong this time. <laughs> sobering. Right. But, like, you know, there could be someone listening right now who's like, well, wait a minute, I'm, I know where I sit on this side. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, you'll have to listen to find out, as well as what I think should be my new calling in life. <laughs> to become an ambassador for, sure, some people could say, uh, for ill children in a third world country. Oh, yes. Yeah. Who it's does that help? It's ha- not quite that. Who does that help? It's <laughs> not quite that. <laughs> you already- can, you, can you spin around upside down during that? Can no. you become best friends with a dragon doing that? No. Come on. Are you already an ambassador for bears or something? I am an Some ambassador. Bears. Yeah. Some bears. Some bears. That's right. I'm ambassador for Free the Bears. That is very true. Yes. I am their, their well, they just really sun cut- bears or all the bears? No, they have sun bears and moon bears, <gasps> which moon are sunburns that just like flashing their bums at people. You pretty much <laughs> cast have- them aside to get to Adventure World, I'm just saying you? I can incorporate all of these. If you strapped a poor uh, bear that has had a horrible life in, in captivity and you give it the freedom to ride the Kraken water slide. <laughs> imagine, what bear wouldn't want that, that? The Kraken just full of smiling sun bears oh. having the time the of joy. their lives. The joy. the joy. The joy of a up in the child's face. <laughs> and they say, oh, I'm terrified to go down this ride only to and find you push there them. is a grown bear in the ride. <laughs> Feel the wind in my fur. Take that. Roar. Take that movie world. Do you have live bears? <laughs> In your water slide? Free. Oh. Freed life. Oh and when God. I am voted ambassador <laughs> for Adventure World, <laughs> I promise you a bear on every ride. Oh. I'm Plus. also plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> plumbers and people that live on balconies. We've got it. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Best segue ever. <laughs> this Nathan, Nat and Sean. On Nova 937. Four past six, Nathan Ann and Sean. Happy Wednesday. Well, I suppose Valentine's Day, so I, I imagine mm. you guys ran off your feet yesterday with picnics and did and not the whatnot. Notice it at all. No. Yeah, I didn't we didn't do a lot yesterday, Nathan. I was just saying I had to drop off one of um, um, Ollie's mates yesterday at their house and they've got a park in front of their joint, just a small one yeah. uh, with a view. And um, I, I, it was oblivious to me until I went past it. There were so many couples trying to all Picnicking. purchase on this thing <laughs> overlooking it's a the lovely, left bank. It's a lovely view from that spot. Oh, um, well, that's when I'd look for the... I'd turn the sprinklers on. Yeah. The, yeah. the romance <laughs> is shot a little bit when there's somebody, a stranger's literally at your shoulder. That was so on their close blanket. Now. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they're packed in cheek by jowl. I did <laughs> pop into the supermarket yesterday to buy a container of at, from the deli of semi-sun-dried tomatoes because I wanted to make a sandwich and the guy said, um, oh, picnic? And I went, nah, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> one sandwich. One, sa- one, one sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> one um, sandwich. We're going to be joined so later this morning by another McManus. That's right, Rove will be in the house after eight. See what he's been up to? Yep. Yeah. Plumbers. Yeah. You're going to have to stop plumbing this morning and join us because Trades of Glory will be featuring your industry. Uh, You'll just be going up against another plumber, being asked questions by another plumber. About plumbing. Like, it's Obviously. tri-plumeral. <laughs> it's going to um, be great. Um, $1,000 to stock up your toolkit for that one. And 1000 bucks on the line as well if you watch the maths uh, commitment ceremony that involved us last night. Book for holiday, you, this summer. Because Aussies act a little different on holiday. More daring, relaxed, and sometimes more fancy. And What If has all kinds of accommodation to suit your style. Book your next getaway on the What If app. What If? It's Aussie for travel. <laughs> Are you going to stay or are you going to leave? It's the commitment ceremony. Should I stay or should I go now? Nathan, Nat and Sean love love. And who doesn't love a commitment ceremony on Married at First Sight? Tonight, 7.30 on 9. Oh, yes, it's our very own commitment ceremony for Married at First Sight. Absolutely. You had to be watching Channel 9 last night to find out who out of us chose to stay or leave. We need the sequence in the right order for you to win. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. How are you, sweetheart? 
I'm great. How are you? Oh, you know. Were you living your best Valentine's Day life last night, Joey? Uh, no. No, you were watching maps. No. Yeah, that's right. No. <laughs> so getting did, angry. Didn't oh. have like a, a like a couples lovers curry or something. Uh, no, not really. No. no. Do you do you have no. a partner in your life, Joe? Yes, I've been married for thirty six years. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the answer Romance for that is one, gone. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, do, you think, do you think either of you should try at some stage to rekindle that Valentine's thing or are you happy to let that one go? Brian would say it's just another... Oh, my dad says that every, every day is Valentine's mate. Day for Mum because Dad most days goes up and he can score a coffee from Coles and then he brings it home <laughs> for her, a Coles coffee. That's romance. She's a um, really lucky woman. Mm. Jo, um, were you watching Maths last night? No, I wasn't. Okay, well, oh, that's okay. Oh, you're just going to have we a dip at it. We are taking a pass. All right, and, yeah. All right then, Jo. Um, reading left to right, what is the sequence that we uh, that we flashed up to stay or leave? What was it? Uh, I'd say Sean, Nat, and Nathan. So uh, leave, stay, stay. Leave, incorrect. Stay, stay. 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 Uh, is not correct. Is not correct. Sorry. Unlucky so Joe. Much. Let's move on to Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi. How are you going? Happy Great, um, Holly. Post Valentine's Day. Did you have a wonderful time? Oh, just Taco Tuesday, nothing special, really. Oh. Taco Tuesday, I love oh. that. That oh, sounds wow. good. Is that what the young kids are calling it these yeah, days? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 All right, Holly. All power to your sister. <laughs> what is the sequence of our very own commitment ceremony? What did we say? Okay, so all three of you wrote leave. All three. So leave, leave, leave. leave. All of us. Correct. That's a very special Valentine's Day commitment ceremony, isn't, isn't it? it? And also, if we were asked to perform a commitment ceremony to the show today, I think that would be our answer as well. <laughs> Not a problem. Holly, you're correct. <laughs> you scored 1000 bucks cash, Holly. Well done. <laughs> Wonderful. Awesome. Too easy, Holly. Day. Well done. Yeah. 1000 Australian dollars. Woo-hoo. God, you're going to be swimming in a pool of tacos. <laughs> oh, absolutely. On Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Any day, Sean. Well done, Holly. Oh, That's you're all lucky. yours. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Mm. Didn't get the papers this morning. Yeah. So I said to her, oh, so, the papers not arrived. And I goes, no, I didn't see them. Ali? Did you get out of the lift to go and find... Didn't it? Look for them. You didn't even go to the stairwell <laughs> where the papers are. She wasn't inaccurate. She was not she lying. Not she did them. not see the papers. Where was the lie? <laughs> oh, you were blinded by love from last That's night. That's right. Is all, that that, all that love. Definitely. Can I ask you a question? You did post something that Dougie post of you to say happy Valentine's. Mm. Did I see that? Why don't you post anything of him to say happy Valentine's? I posted what he posted, so that's... I see. No, it's not, no, the that's not the same. What? That is that. That's a. That's a. That's a little. You're a modern woman, right? Yeah. You keep telling me. I would like. I don't, I don't like. I don't like the 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 road you're going down. What do you mean? Well, so he that's, has. That's he declares much. his love for you. You. Yeah, it's only you natural. Publicly, then help her. tell the rest of the world that he loves you. <laughs> where's the bit? Where's the bit where you say you love him? <laughs> Thank that's you, Natalie. Implied. <laughs> By oh, what? How? Why, why? By me sharing the post about how much he loves me. Oh, by me. you not being embarrassed by the fact that he loves you. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think you realise the climate in which um, straight white males are going through right now. Yeah, well, they've yeah. got enough They're to really deal suffering. with, don't they, Sean? Have a look at me. <laughs> <laughs> the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Ellie's joined us in the studio. Yes. yes. Now, um, Ali, uh, Sean and took offence f- for Dougie. Oh. I did because Dougie had posted a um, uh, Instagram message saying, and I know, happy Valentine's, love you, all that kind of stuff. You reposted it, but you didn't post anything there was no of you saying, happy Valentine's to my sweetheart. Mm. Mm. As a modern world, you're always telling us how up to date you are <laughs> as a feminist. And I do understand the saying, treat them mean, keep them clean. <laughs> I don't think it's treating a mean by resharing it with a love heart. The love heart. No, but like, there was there, no, there, no post on your behalf. Yeah, let, let nothing came know, from your letting heart. Letting the world know publicly how a, you feel about it him. A, it was a personal re- reply. I gave oh, him a you, personal oh, reply. Oh, you just went and personally replied, replied. all over him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, you had a theory, though, that <laughs> no our, our big boss, yeah, so Dave McClung. Yeah, got reactions on Instagram. Yeah, yeah so yeah. so what, what did what he happened? do? What happened? Uh, <laughs> God. I got a, um, a vomit emoji from <laughs> our lovely friend. I mean, that's yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. But, yeah. but your but theory I thought was that he had accidentally sent it to me when he was trying to send it to someone else. Uh, so you I thought he, he was screenshotting your post and then to, sending to somebody else, like, look at this, yeah, like vomit uh, emoji like, thing. Uh, and yeah. then I was like, who's yeah. who's the yeah. rat? You know, who yeah. you know, who's making fun? But yeah. then you're, you're very adamant. This was the case. Yeah. Da- yes. da- David McClung <laughs> is with us right now. Hello, David. Now, David. <laughs> Also, David, I just want to say we said no, Dave, David. He would wouldn't do, do that. that. Yes, yeah. 
your face. Yeah, yeah. He would do this to you. And then she yeah. said, no, David loves to talk shit behind everyone's back. I mean, that is no. also true. Can, oh, that is also true. But <laughs> <laughs> look, I 100% meant to send that to Ellie. It was like, oh. it was lovely, but nauseating. That's yeah. right. <laughs> but you know what? If you're listening right now, most of your posts yeah, were, that's everybody. Right. Yeah, that's true. Um, Dave, were you, you sending this to... A lot of people yesterday because there were a lot of yeah a soppy a lot of... romantic posts going no, around. No, I Just don't early. have a lot of friends in relationships. <laughs> <laughs> but since you joined the swimming club, uh, Sean, hey? you didn't post anything about your wife on Instagram, did you? No, I didn't. But I did. I uh, told you I left her the rose and and also my daughter. But here's the thing: why I didn't? Well, yeah, because. I didn't Why? get any she other posts. Lift a game? Yes, I didn't get any other posts for anniversary and or yeah. birthday yeah. during the week, and I thought, well, you know, David, um, <laughs> would you fair? would you let us know um, what what particularly about Ali's repost no, sickened you? Just leave it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was the fair mum, wasn't it? <laughs> no, you know what it was, and what? it was the fact that you've already mentioned it, it was that Dougie was so sweet and incredibly, incredibly lovely about it and Ellie had just reposted it. <laughs> what? Oh. What the problem? Oh, right. So she's like, hey, yeah. everyone, look how much I, he thinks I'm great. Look how great I am. Yeah. Here's an yeah. endorsement. Hey, okay. How many people did you send it to, though, Dave? None. No, well, just you. Okay. But I got it. My parents got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, love you, Dave. Love Romance you. is so I'm alive. I'm glad we can work this out on air. Thank oh, you, Dave. Oh, you're furious. <laughs> well, she's yeah. okay yeah. now. Yeah, she's so, like, hee-hee, giggly right now. She should have seen you beforehand. Oh, <laughs> mate, her she eyebrows was... are hitting the ceiling. <laughs> oh, men were the worst, and you were the worst of them. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Thank Thanks, you, Dave. Dave. Thank you, David. Yeah, David. Bye. Bye. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. I'm the best around. Construction training fund are here to help. Apprentices get $500 back on tools with CTF's Apprentice Tool Allowance. Head to ctf.wa.gov.au to find out more. Oh, here we go with another round of Trades of Glory. Two tradies are about to go head to head in a quiz about their trade, which today is plumbing. Yes, go. our quiz master today is plumber extraordinaire Tom from MPA Skills. Sean. A couple of our contestants are going to go at it. Uh, Wyatt and Brian, we'll start with you, Wyatt. Good morning. Good morning, how are you going? Good, Wyatt, man. Wyatt, how long have you been a plumber, Wyatt? Uh, I finished my apprenticeship in uh, January. Oh, oh freshy, yes. Tom. Okay, so this could be an advantage because you freshly studied. Yeah, Wyatt. If I, um, if if I did. remember it all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. All. That's all right. Well, you're up against Brian. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Hey, hey good, good Brian. Brian. How long in the industry, Brian? Oh, uh, about 15, 16 years. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. By is... the way, do we get a, a call-out fee just for getting you guys on? Is yeah, that that's true. The... That's true. <laughs> All right. This is the old bull, young buck situation, oh, isn't yeah. it? Not even young buck, um, newborn. Yeah. New okay. versus veteran. <laughs> yes. That's right. Here's what's going to happen. Tom will ask you a question. If you think you know the answer, you need to buzz in with your name. Very important. If you get it right, you get the point. It is the best of five. Let's test your buzzers. Wyatt? Wyatt. Brian? Brian. I wish we got two names that sounded a bit more different. <laughs> it's going to be Why, great. Brian. <laughs> um, all right, Tom. Okay. What's the maximum length a trapped shower is to can be to a floor waste gully? Wyatt. Brian. Or Wyatt? Is it three metres? It is Tom. not, I'm afraid. No, it's 2.5 metres. Oh. 2.5 metres. No point there. We move on to question two. All right. Minimum size of a vent on a house drain. Brian. Yes, Brian. Uh, 50 mil? Yes, Brian. 50 mil. Brian's on the board. Leads 1 nil. Let's go, White. Come, Come on, on White. Right. Show Brian how it's done by the <laughs> new generation. Now, if the answer is a quarter of a bubble, you're incorrect with this next question. <laughs> so, and the minimum grade of a 100 mil drain line. Brian. Brian. 1 in 60. <laughs> Brian knows his stuff. One and 60, come on. Let's Wyatt, go, Wyatt. Wyatt, if you don't get yeah, one right, we're going to come and take your ticket right. off you, OK? <laughs> yeah. So Brian's good. Oh, Brian, Brian is, good. is good. Brian is good. All right, last one. 
Oh, we'll see. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, you no, don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You're really thinking Brian's going to take this if out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wyatt, Wyatt? Yeah, then Come on, Wyatt. Wyatt. Let's one. go. Okay. Maximum temperature a basin or bath hotline can be in a domestic what? house. Yes, Wyatt. Ooh. 50 degrees. Wyatt. 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 He's rubbing his youth in Brian's face. He <laughs> said it could be done. <laughs> Brian still leads 2-1. All right. What is the maximum length of an unvented branch drain? Mm. Brian. Yes, Brian. 10 metres. Brian has done it. Brian. Experience wins the day. You've won a thousand bucks to spend on tools, all thanks to construction training fund. Brian, well played. No, you beauty. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Good no worries. Why well, not come across many branch drains, hey? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> nah. They're not common in my experience. I, I, I think you found out about those in the fifth year of Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Just so everyone's saying, what's a branch drain? Um, oh. uh, just a drain off the main vented line. Mm. What's a vented line? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's has got a vent. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, how's that? Mm. Uh, oh, Tom, good on you, Tom. Yeah, thank you so one. much for coming in. Pleasure Tom, to come in. Thanks very enjoy. much. Enjoy. Brian, congratulations. Well done. And Wyatt, well, good job, mate. <laughs> We'd still yeah, hire God, you. We would. We would. We would. Uh, don't worry, everybody. We're playing again tomorrow. Mm. Another trade. We'll be getting the chance Amy? to play. What's a trade tomorrow? Oh, what did I tell you guys Are we going painter tomorrow? Carpenter no. tomorrow? We've done painter. No. Carpenter. It oh, is chippies, chippies tomorrow. Chippies. All right. I'll come in again if you want. Are you oh, a chippy as well? I can do better questions. Are you, than are you, a, ch- are you a chippy as well? No. Oh, okay. Oh, well, no, you're on the bench then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tom. Thanks yeah, so no, much, right. Tom. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. We know the um, real estate market is, um, if you were buying or even renting, is insane yeah. here in Perth. And then what is happening in Sydney is even crazier. Firstly, people's rents are going up like. Oh, yeah, Without astronomically. Notice, $500 yeah. a week. Yeah. Like, and they're not even getting a notice. There is um, uh, one place that has been advertised um, for $300 a week. Um, this is in an apartment. Um, it is a... What the, suburb do we know? Um, it is in... Is it fancy? It's near, near, next to World Square. Huh. World Square? Yeah. Is that in a suburb? Yeah. Come so yeah, Harry's going to look for yeah. it. You continue, mate. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, basically it's an enclosed balcony. Like a balcony. By enclosed, what do you mean? Like enclosed because they put a tarp off, tarp up to, <laughs> that's not to, 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 to stop the outside from being inside. That's that's not that's not. First of all, that's not enclosed. Enclosed balcony would mean that they've put yeah. in windows and stuff so that yeah. it's enclosed. There's yes. an actual structure around it. Yeah. A tarpaulin is not yeah. a structure. Oh, so you're now, being picky. The now. best thing about the balcony, um, aka the bedroom, um, is its city views, which now you can't get because they've put a tarp up to make it a room. Uh, it's um, on the buy, uh, the buy, sell and give away Facebook page. <laughs> and um, here's the ad. Man, private room, Sydney, CBD, one boy only, $300 a week. Quick response. It's got a phone number. Please kindly send me your information. New, quiet and clean apartment. Well, why are you talking about the apartment? <laughs> on the balcony. Next to World Square, only five minutes walk to Town Hall, yes. Chinatown, so UTS. So right in the smack bang Paddy's Market, Sydney. Coles yes. and Woolworth. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> All bill included, fast NBN Wi-Fi and rice, basic cleaning stuffs and cooking stuffs, min min for um, stay month, um, prefer long-term and less cook, $800 deposit and $200 bond key, three-week notice move out, <laughs> and then some questions. Yes. Okay, Will yes. you bring your own furniture, big electronic, bike, and then... Please name your nationality, which is actually, you can't do that. No, I wouldn't well, have I mean, so. to be honest, you can't do any of this. There's a lot, there's a lot <laughs> you wrong. shouldn't be able to do any of this. It's unbelievable. So it's, somebody's subletting. This isn't the landlord, presumably. This is the the, the, yeah. the, the existing tenant saying, you can rent my balcony so for $300 a, a week. Doesn't it make you feel, though, we are surrounded by balconies in this studio right now. Point. I was looking at here. We could make a oh, balcony. That is a great point, point. point, Sean. The Airbnb that could be going on right now. We could be watching yes. a family of four right now yes. out there. And sure. And Ellie, we can provide rice. Ellie's got <laughs> balcony access from I'll her office now because they put those doors in. She has. That's easily I know. Oh, my God. Airbnb, the Rapunzel. 
experience. <laughs> Imagine it. Uh, when we were at uni, uh, my uh, housemate, she wanted a boyfriend to move in, but he, she didn't want him to move into um, the bedroom. So he moved into the dining room and he, we ended up putting, and we, none of us, he didn't even ask actually, he just moved into the dining room. So why didn't he move into her room? Because she didn't want him in there. It was very weird okay. scenario. That makes and no okay, sense. So, that, right, so, yeah. so, so then they end up putting a curtain rod up um, uh, across Who's the rod? wall. Um, curtain. Oh, okay. And it, we had to put it just behind the fridge so we could access the fridge. And it, the, he would complain every time we'd go to the fridge because the fridge light would turn on. It's like a spotlight on him. <laughs> and didn't you live in a dining room? I lived in a dining room. My first share house when I moved, because I went to uni in Melbourne, and my first share house, I was still 17. I hadn't turned 18 yet. And I so moved she hadn't into, learned about bedrooms by then? Moved into a dining room <laughs> because it was cheap. And yeah. with, there were th- four of us that lived in, sorry, four others that lived in the house. So there was a couple and then two singles. Yeah. And they decided that to make um, ends meet, they would rent out the dining room. It was a separate room, but there was a servery hatch between the kitchen and, yes. and the dining room that we had to board up so that they weren't making cups of tea staring in at me while I was sleeping. Looking at your boobs. It was just... It was quite a big room by 70s house standards, yes. but, um, but so it was the dining room. room. Sure. I, I love them. Room. One of my mates lives down the street, actually. He was living with my friends in um, London and he lived in the kitchen. He slept every single night in the kitchen, thin in London, because everyone just piles themselves yes. in. But I just remembered, a, a mate of mine, Dave, he lived with me in uh, Applecross. We rented a house together. Three bedrooms, but the the garage had been t- turned into a bedroom. It had been carpeted. So Dave started the first week in there, but the fleas bit the hell out of him. As it turns out, the people had their dogs sleeping in there before. So he moved out. So then there was only three of us. To... <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Okay, we want to talk to you times. about when your bedroom was not a bedroom. Room. I don't think it happens much nowadays. Or maybe it does no, because of the rental does. crime. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There was a story years ago about someone sleeping in a bathroom. That was their bedroom. It was a bathroom. <laughs> We're going to give somebody um, uh, $150 to spend at a loft Perth. Nice. Bring lofty views to your next conference or event. Discover Perth's best kept secret at aloftperth.com.au. We've been to a loft. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, lovely. that view from up there is Beautiful. unbelievable. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Special guest has just dropped drop by. Hello. Early. Early. What's, what's your name? Hello, my name is John McManus. It is too. Hi, John. Hi everybody. Johnny Hi, McManus. Rose. It's Rose. <laughs> um, Hi, I once went to a friend's place in America. Yeah. And uh, I said, uh, we were getting divvied up into rooms. My sisters were put in a room. I was travelling with them. And I said, oh, I'll sleep in this room just adjacent to their room that they're in, if that's okay. Yes. And the owners of the house said, you can't do that. And I was very adamant. Look, it's my sisters. It's fine. Yeah. I'll just be in this room. They're in the bigger room. I'll just take the slightly smaller room off the end. And the woman finally just went, that's not a room. What it's a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> they had such an enormous house <laughs> that their walk-in wardrobe. wardrobe. And they were disgusted in you. <laughs> and I yeah. said, I have to sleep in this wardrobe tonight <laughs> because I need to tell people one day on radio <laughs> that I slept in a wardrobe yes. that was big enough to be a bedroom. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Courtney, Hello. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Courtney. We've had a tale of, you know, a balcony with a tarp over the top of it being rented out for 300 bucks. What have you slept in that wasn't technically a bedroom? So it wasn't me, but this was through my work. But we had to go out and do a quote, and this woman had all these beds set up in her garage, and, like, people were sleeping in it. Like, she lived in the house, and it's like she set up, leased out her garage for people to, you know, camp out and sleep in. And I was like, oh, my God, and, like, she never had credit cards. She saw, like, cash, like, in places, oh. like, under that stuff and... Yeah. So, like, then, so, like so prof- no professional squatting. Yeah, yeah. like, so yeah. not like an Airbnb situation. Like, what, were they students, international students or something? I don't know. We just saw all the beds. And, like, we had to go back for something. She didn't want us coming past the gate. Like, her gate out the front. And oh. Like, like how many? Like, you can fit a lot of beds in Yeah, that's right. Garage. So full dormitory, basically. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. I'm oh. sorry. That seems like an organ farm. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like a, a cash, cash farm because she was paying for everything right. in cash. How many people's kidneys were taken <laughs> in that garage? What do people put cash underneath their um, mattresses for? We first, hear it all the time. First place you look, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. Jay, hello. Hello. How are you guys? Hi, Good Jay. Good Jay. All right. Where have you slept that wasn't technically a bedroom? So my, I used to live in Bridgetown. 
and we grew up on on five acres and i've got i've got a, a, a decent sized family and my dad let my other sister decide to come down and live with us yeah and because it was only three bedrooms and there were going to be four of us i got kicked out to the chicken run <laughs> to a chicken <laughs> run chicken run <laughs> can, you explain, can you explain a chicken run for everyone that don't have a chicken run so if no one has a chicken run, it's basically you have hen houses where you collect the frickin' eggs. Yes. So a, a wooden structure on a platform, yep. yes? Yep. So Did anyone uh, come did anyone come looking in the morning to see if you'd lay down? <laughs> <laughs> Earn your keep. <laughs> wish. No, I had to he he said that's where I'm staying and I had to make it look homely, so I had to move the chickens, clean everything out and turn it into wait, a bedroom. Wait, where are the chickens going? Yeah, where did the chickens go? Oh, uh, we, I mean, that's our free concern. Range. The chickens, <laughs> they moved into the oven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jay, so oh, Jay, Jay's too good to sleep uh, with the chickens, uh, is he? <laughs> Jay, how does one make the chicken run cosy as a bedroom? Like, what, is, what are we doing? Fairy lights. What are we doing? Oh, it's fairy lights. <laughs> cleaned, it, cleaned it massively. Yeah. Um, and put, put carpets on the floor and got a power. I didn't even have power, so I had to get a power lead stretch all the way to the room. How so long I could have you a win for? A year. A year? A year. A year. A year. Yeah. Jeez. Was there any danger of you getting taken by a fox at any stage? That's what I'd be worried about. Tell you what, worried. he got a bargain on the feather down pillow. Yeah, that's true. That is Soft true. Soft if he's ever sl- one out for the chicken. Thanks, Jay. Sam, hello. Hello. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam. Where did you sleep that I... wasn't a bedroom? Sounds a bit lame after the chicken run. <laughs> that's okay, sweetheart. What do you got? So it's actually my oldest daughter. I uh, sold my house just before COVID hit and then the price of the market yes. went crazy and I couldn't afford a four bedroom home anymore for my kids and uh, my three kids and I so I've just converted um, a garage in my three bedroom house and cut a door into the wall and <laughs> she sleeps out there so you, garage yeah but, okay. cut, but cut a door into the wall yes to make yes, it an adjoining right. room to yes, the house yes that's right how many mattresses do. do you have in there and is it all in cash <laughs> <laughs> I do only have one mattress in there <laughs> yeah, I so for a kid that would be okay is the, is the car awesome. still in there yeah, or, or <laughs> no I had to cut it in half with a uh, stud wall so the car no longer oh. fits in the garage be right. oh. does it still have the roller door it still has the roller door <laughs> but that, so she's cut it in half put in a stud wall yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the stud wall, um, you'd roll the door, you can't... Okay, you can't see the roller door from the room. Okay, so on the other side of the roller door, because it's now too shallow to put a car in there, what what are we using that for? (laughs) That's my storage room. That's yeah. where the bikes are. Yeah, and that sounds very fancy, though. It does, doesn't it? I've got a new house with an adjacent room and storage. Why don't you go with bunk beds? Why don't you get the kids... We all had bunk beds. We had bunk beds, always. Yeah, I know. Girls and boys sharing a room in teenage... Time. Yeah, right. Okay. Really yeah, yeah. There's only so much impulse can cover fast. Yeah, that's short. true. <laughs> <laughs> that's the least of the concerns. Thank you, Sam. Uh, $150 to spend at a loft. Perth's going to go to Jay living in the chicken run. Well, it has to, doesn't it? Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. Time for an official introduction. Oh, wow. Very regal. Our favourite cousin. Yay! <laughs> Rose McManus hey, Rose. in the house. Now, Greetings and salutations, everybody. Rose. The reason we're talking to you is you're, sh- you're doing a show, Awesome Sources, part of Fringe Wells. It kicks off tonight. Yes, yeah. at yeah. Oasis Comedy Club at the yes. Brisbane. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's... Uh, as of yesterday, I think ready to go. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Love you have, you've done it in other places, though. You've been touring. No, this is no? this is officially this is the world one. the world premiere really? tonight. I have been doing little bits, bits, and, of, bits it, of it, yeah. But um, I'm also because it's new. This is all new because I did my Lucy Goosey show last year. Yeah. So any any gigs I have been doing. Hey, there's a lot of the loosey goosey still going on. Sure. Okay. So this will be tonight the first from start to finish. Good luck, everybody. How does one feel? When... One feels fine yes. until <laughs> one uh, knows that mm. one's wife is coming. <gasps> to... oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. no. Do you talk about her? Does she feature in your material? There is a particular story okay. <laughs> within the first uh, five minutes of the show. Oh, okay. Tell her to be late. There was. <laughs> yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling her it starts at eight. <laughs> uh, so I, I have had to. Uh, and here's another little twist 
that uh, the reason why Tasma is coming, because normally she wouldn't come to an opening night of a show. She knows what it's like as a fellow performer. Yeah, yeah. She'll come to Ladder in the Run. And she came in and she said, uh, I'm coming to opening night. There's a bunch of parents from school <laughs> oh, that I caught bro. up with for coffee and they said that they've bro. all bought tickets. Oh, and I no. said, that's fine. So I'm going to go with them. However, it's up for opening night. So my wife and a bunch of parents from school are coming tonight. Does she, so does she so know? I'm suddenly going over every, all, every joke I'm doing, going, yes. am, am I slagging off anyone's kid? Am yes. I uh, uh, dissing the school? Are am you? I, it was, so, so the show's 12 minutes long. Um, <laughs> no, but yes, having to go through and say to her, okay, now you this remember this thing that happened. Oh, I love how it that... Did, it's, 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 and it happened exactly the way I'm it saying it. Like go. This, <laughs> and you come out looking like the good guy. So just... <laughs> And I do, I do have a crack at the fact that we have mice as pets. But apart from that, okay. oh, that's she's not okay. so bad. Okay, well that sounds familiar because when I used to say stuff about Megan, I'd have to go home, and then <laughs> it's too late. Well, yeah, I mean all sorts. And Collect Nathan's your things parent, off the lawn. Oh. Marley and Brian, they deny everything. They deny, they, oh, they, they deny, they deny like everything. That. When I go around, they go, "You're a liar." And my dad says, I'm getting the lawyers onto you. Dad apparently has lawyers. <laughs> on retainer. I'm getting the lawyers onto you. And then when, I, when I'm at his house now, because I've done it a couple of times, I'm filmed him when he's drunk at the table talking. Right. Just nonsense. Um, anyway, so then every so often he'll fling out of the chair and then knock over his beer and go, you're recording this, I'll get the lawyers onto you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's because then people know everything that comes out of my mouth is true about you. Yeah, I mean, so you're keeping it in the show. Brian's legal team must be busy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be interested firms. to see if that happens, if there's like heckling from the audience. Yes, and <laughs> I'll get my lawyers on it. Maybe my what if my lawyers? What if your lawyers came to the yes, show? Right. What if your actual? If you had lawyers and they came to watch you perform and you said something that they weren't about having, the lawyers and you oh, get sued by your own lawyers, they just yell objection. <laughs> and you get sued by your own lawyers. Do you get your own lawyers to defend you? Yes. Who, no, you have to get someone no, else. No, no, they'd rather pay someone else. Yeah, that's they? right. Um, yeah. Rove, I remember one incident years ago when Hughes's wife oh, yeah. secretly went to one of his shows and then secretly wrote a review for the Herald That's Sun. a very holy thing to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he had no idea she was even there and he was telling a lot of stories about her at the time. Would you rather not know that your wife is in the audience and she be there or would you rather know that she's there? If someone's coming, I'd rather know that, yes. that they are there just so it's not in your head afterwards. Um, but I know Husey in particular, like that's what he does. He just talks about... Yes. Anything that's happened in, in his life. He got in big trouble once for doing material uh, on a Monday morning when it's after the weekend, I've had yep. nothing, yes. I, I, you know, my head's not in the game, what have I got? And told a story about a Bucks night that a friend of ours had had on the Friday or Saturday, which it may have involved uh, scantily clad ladies. What? At a Bucks night? And there was... Um, <laughs> my mum was there. Yeah, she was. <laughs> her, her lawyer's at it. <laughs> But basically uh, got got in trouble for the fact that from the groom-to-be... Oh, yeah, he broke saying, the bro code. It's, it's not about what you're saying, because f- Husey's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, my wife knew I was there. like, yeah, but my Mine wife didn't, didn't know <laughs> about no. my pubic hair being set on fire and <laughs> what are we doing here? So, you know, it's always... Uh, that's why you never tell Husey what you're up to. Yeah. Okay, because he uses mm. that. Mm. He's now, in the vault. You just told me um, before, oh, I forgot, um, so you celebrated your birthday at Adventure World, because we haven't been to for a while. It is an awesome day. <laughs> if I'm doing a show called Awesome Source, I'm almost disappointed in myself that I didn't uh, like do it at Adventure World. Sure. Oh my God, could you do a show at Adventure World? Of course you could. Yeah, it's not too late. late. You can do, you can do, do anything. anything. I used to host these concert series and dance but, parties yeah, at Adventure World. Yeah, they were doing those night, night ones, Adventure World yeah. after dark. Well, they yeah. do have... Uh, yeah, I was there for my birthday and we got... Um, a, we had to leave at the end of the day. I yeah. thought we'd maybe be there till lunchtime. We got there first thing, thought we'd be there till lunchtime. We were there till the end of the day, and then they really? said, yeah, you have to go because the nighttime people come in. Yeah. Oh. There's an after hour. What are the 90s Imagine like? Imagine riding the Kraken. Oh. Uh, There'll be after the after people riding the Kraken. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no greater joy than shoving your terrified daughter into a huge funnel. Yeah. I had a great time. I think pushing her. Let gravity do the rest. Can I just say right now, I had such a great time. I'm just going to put this out there because I know everybody listens to you guys. Adventure World. Mm. If you're listening. Yes. I would love to be like... uh, I used to be number one ticket holder for the Dockers. You want to be the number one ticket holder for Adventure World? Could I be the number one ticket holder 
for, for adventure. adventure oh, world. right now, I would I would be like an ambassador. I could be. Uh, oh, a, you're giving it away for free. Can I just tell you right now? Uh-huh. Right now, there is a platypus and a koala high fiving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, their names were Nick and Bill. Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> did you spend time in the suit? Did you? <laughs> I won- as a kid, I loved Nick and Bill. Nick Nick the koala built the platypus with the two mascots, and I once wrote a, a note saying, "Could I get them to come to my house?" Oh, right. And I was going to do a street parade. <laughs> I was going to have a little fake. Because we lived in a cul de sac. It's like, yeah, of you know, you're living it's the dream. For them. Uh, we could put up a bouncy castle. Nick and Bill could be there. And I got a letter back from Nick and Bill. Yes. I assume it was probably Nick. He had better penmanship. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, sorry, we're not we're not allowed to leave Adventure oh, World. But oh, here's, here's two free passes. Oh, oh, what a score. I've had such a great relationship. Again, yeah. Adventure World, if you're listening, number one ticket holder. Ambassador, <gasps> uh, just Spruker. I'll be a Spruker. Yeah. You know, oh, I could be. I'll be a mascot. I will just. I'll walk around. <laughs> In the dragon suit. They've got, like, a dragon yes. round. Would the you dra- stand next to, like, the entrance to the um, to the roller coaster the rolls, I and say you have height. to be this high? I'm exactly. not. You have to be... Ro- oh, my God. Right. Guys, they could have cardboard cutouts <laughs> you. of me around you the park. You have to be rope height, height, height to get on the rampage. <laughs> well, no, you won't be able to get on the rampage. I wouldn't be able to. You have to be. I think you're missing I'd the point. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a, the cardboard cutout has a very sad face. Yeah. Me, yeah. If you're this high, you can't go on anything. Oh, when I grow up, I can't wait to get on a bus. Rove, yeah. where, where did uh, Ruby uh, sit in that? Because she, is she, she just flying down the... So she went to go uh, on the crack and we were there with yeah. uh, my brother and his family, their kids, and so they wanted to get on the crack and the big, amazing water slide. Yeah. And so my Ruby, who's not a thrill seeker, went, I'm coming too. I thought this is going to go horribly wrong. It's this, the You get on the, the rubber thing that's like it's like a cross... And so, because she's decided she wants to come too, it's three children under the age of, or nine or under. Yes. And me. <laughs> and Ruby's like, I and think. And you're the shortest one. <laughs> and I, I, we've gone down, and then because I'm the heaviest, I'm being pulled backwards. <laughs> so all I can see is three children with the look of fear in their <laughs> eyes, screaming their lungs out. They came out, okay, everyone's fine. And then we went to go on one of the lesser sort of yes. uh, water slide rides. And Ruby's like, look, look, looked down the tunnel. And it must have done that thing like they do in movies and cartoon shows where it just extends yes. 3D yep. style. And she has turned around and yelled at me, what do you expect me to do? I've just been on the Kraken. <laughs> but to her credit, I said, this one isn't as tough. Her cousin went first. She said, I heard the screams. They were terrified screams. But they were also inspiring. Oh, wow. And she went down and she did it. Amazing. Oh, I mean, I was shit scared. I didn't do it. I was like, I'm no fool. I'm not going down. <laughs> the last time we were all there together was the opening of the abyss. Yeah, that's yes, right. yes, and yes. And Sean was very Oh, dead. yeah, I, you. I hate um, roller coasters. <laughs> You, you are. So you put me through, the, you you are a me through the mill. You're a real gutless little man, aren't you, about a lot of things? He was so <laughs> pathetic. Well, was, I went his up, eyes shut we did, all the way. We, oh, you did, did, did they take a photo? Because they take a yeah, photo. Yeah, yeah, many yeah. photos. We videoed yeah, the whole thing. Because remember there's a part in the dark when you yeah, go yeah, to yeah, the dark. You, you come out yeah. the, you come out out the shed. You come out the shed part, and that's usually where the camera is. And then you go directly up and then vertical straight down. We all love Abyss. Adventure World, we love Abyss. And then, so my niece went on. She's nine, and we're thinking this is not a good idea. No. But she's like, "I want to, I want to be part of it. I'm getting on a bus." So I thought, "Well, let's commemorate the moment by getting a photo of her it, when it comes out the shed." So I'm doing a point like, "Here we yeah. go." No flash has gone off, oh. and I went. They probably they've moved the camera, yeah. That, so it goes where the the drop is because yeah. that makes more sense. So I'm holding this pose, like, <laughs> "Look at her with this big grin." Couldn't see a camera, and I went, "Well, they've probably moved it." <laughs> Got off the ride and the booth that you collect your yes. photos from has said, sorry, the Abyss camera is not oh. in use. So I have spent the entire Posing ride with finger guns, guns. <laughs> double trigger finger pointing at a small child with the biggest grin on my face. <laughs> 
that people probably who the were, were looking at the abyss <laughs> would have been going, is that right? He is frozen in, <laughs> like, joyous fear. He looks like he's having a great time, but he hasn't moved. Such a great oh, day, an awesome so day, oh. if you will. Did you like Adventure World? Oh. I'll just let's say, so how much do you love Adventure World? Call now. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're from Adventure World. Seriously, no, no. If you're from Adventure World, I want to get in touch with you. you oh, mate, where, they'll you, be getting in touch you know with you. You know where to find my people. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Hi, this is Harry Styles. This is Harry Styles. See me live. Nova's on tour with Harry Styles. I would be honoured to have you at the show. Harry Styles is bringing his love on tour to HBO Park in Perth on Monday the 20th of February. Don't miss your chance to see him live. You just heard Harry Styles. No, God, Music oh for a sushi I know, restaurant. Bro, I know, I bro, know. he's here oh in God. Perth on Monday. He's going to Adventure World. He can come to Adventure World. <laughs> <laughs> he would love that, I And what were the dragon's names again at Adventure World? Yali and Yalet. Mm. Uh, and Floss the Fairy. I would have stayed on the brainstorming meeting for mm. a little bit longer with that one. Mm. Well, we got a call from I'll Maria. The next board yeah, Good we morning did. to you, Maria. Hello, how are you, team? Hi, hey, Maria. Maria. You're off to see Harry Styles at his Love on Tour show here in Perth. Oh, my God, I am so excited. You are you excited see? for you or are you excited because you've got a Harry Styles lover in your family? Um, well, me. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see who'll be coming with yeah, me. That's, so, that's yeah. the card you want to play. Someone has yes. to be good. For well, Maria days. wants to be a Harry oh, Styles fantastic. lover, by the sound of it. Yes, um, <laughs> Maria, you're also in the draw for that massive trip to Sydney to see Harry Styles live at a core stadium with two grand spending money as well. We could be calling you back on Monday with that. So good luck. Oh, amazing, amazing! But Monday night will be fantastic anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you yeah. scored. It's going to go. Everyone off. wants to see Harry. Oh yeah. Oh, Sean, Grammy right. Award winning. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Do you want to see Harry Rove? Of course, I want to see Harry. Of course you do. I want to see. I'll, I just. I would just go and look at him, whether he's singing or not. <laughs> Who, who's your, se- uh, your next? Um, your next uh, favourite one D. Person. After Nile. Harry, Nile, Nile, same. Mm-hmm. 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 Slow hand. Where does, I have, Louis, I have where does met... Louis stand? Oh, Louis, Who have you yeah. met? He doesn't. I. Uh, Oh, Zane. Oh, Zane was. He was the bad boy. He always yeah. had that sort of bad boy yes. vibe. Uh, I have met the one D. Um, before and I found them all to be absolutely delightful. Oh. Well, it's the one day. It's D for delightful. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's actually it's, it's, there was a lot more than one level of delightful to well, there you go. Off. I that very clear. You can have this discussion yourself, Maria, at some point once you've <laughs> seen Harry in the flesh. Because <laughs> as you've just experienced, it's magical. It is. Um, uh, still more chances to win, everybody. Keep it on Nova or head to the Nova Play to be in the running for Novas on tour with Harry Sub. Nathan, Nat, and Sean, and the podcast. Now, yes. Ro, I've got a question for you, and this has been ongoing for years, and recently it's raised its head again. We feel like mm. we manifested it. Um, mm. We speak about Tony Collette quite a lot here of course you do. on the show because she's an Australian treasure. <laughs> she is an icon. She's an icon. So uh, she's now in Perth. Do you know that? No. I, well, I thought you big 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 She, she uh, used to live around the back of our place in Sydney. <laughs> like, like in the granny <laughs> She's your neighbour. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was in the chicken coop for the camera <laughs> listening earlier today. If you missed it, download the podcast. Um, it was, um, yeah, we, we were back. So she was in the street. Yes. One, one back from yeah. us, uh, from the beach. <laughs> and, ah, um, further away from the beach. <laughs> but she, she sold, she did sell uh, just before we did, and I didn't know she's come here. So um, did case. you ever see her around the around no, the room? Not Down now. the shops or anything? Not, no. Do, no. We, do we know where she is? What? Oh, well, no. She was. I mean, she she was um, had three suitcases. Looked like she was going to be here for a while. Um, oh. And she didn't look. Actually, so she's she's like the new from Kate the photo Walsh. we saw, she didn't look happy to be here. That's right. And as far as we know, she wasn't here for the UFC, <laughs> yes. which everybody else oh. found. Because we actually thought <laughs> she's that, a, we thought she was a fighting. Big Logan Paul fan. No, we thought uh, she was uh, fighting. Uh, Travis Fimmel. She followed Travis Fimmel. Tony Collette can do anything. Are you on Colette Watch at the moment? Oh, look. We. No, sure. when people when celebrities come over, we like to just leave we're them alone. We're pretty cool about you it. But you're like, you like hanging out with them all the time, usually. Yeah. Oh, like, so well, Kate Walsh, 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 Walsh now. Walsh, you know. friends, <laughs> best friends with her. But that doesn't happen naturally through yeah. radio. <laughs> um, it just says everyone meets their friends. Well, I don't have a direct contact for Tony. Well, but if oh. I find anything. Oh, well, this is our question. Are we leading to something? We are, we are. For years, we've had an argument. And I'm going to ask you the question outright. I'm going to ask you the question outright. Question without notice. Could I take Tony? Tony Collette in a fight. Yeah, well, no. No, you couldn't. No, <laughs> we all know the answer on, to mate. that. We wanted, to, we, we wanted to be surprised by the answer. <laughs> all right. Tony Collette, yes. right? Who is more famous out of Tony Collette uh-huh. and Alan Iverson? Worldwide. Worldwide, worldwide to the person on the street. 
<laughs> worldwide. Worldwide. No. We're, no worldwide. Idea. That's no, it. Yeah, we're saying worldwide. Worldwide. We're saying worldwide. Okay, worldwide. We're saying worldwide. Oh, get the vent. Oh, get the vent. It's Tony Collette. No one knows her around the world. Six cents. Around the Six world. Around the world. Six cents. Her body of work speaks for itself. You lived in the US. The many shades you lived of in the US, mate. What? You know AI. Sean, Sean, Tara. we accept the yeah. US. We're talking about worldwide. Worldwide. Other countries. Six cents were shown in all of them. Okay, here's what I was waiting for. Who is more famous? Yeah. Or, or who is more known? This is the way it was coming out in my brain, not knowing where this was headed. You, you did, you did with with the same it. sense of gravitas. <laughs> Rove McManus. Without any kind of thought process leading into this question. Side unseen. Who is more famous? To the average person on the street. Worldwide. Worldwide. Tony Collette or Colette. Oh, <laughs> you can read my back. Really? See, in that case, I go, oh, maybe wow. Colette, maybe <laughs> Colette, maybe just Colette. <laughs> wow. It's hands down Tony Colette. It's no, absolutely... No, it's actually would, not even close. You would, you, if you like, if it's she... It's not even close. If no, you no, just you're were, just saying it because you're into sport. If you no, were no, Tony... No, if you were Tony, Tony Colette yeah. adjacent... Yes. Like, if you were just somewhere in her gravitational pull, <laughs> you would f- you would just, oh, what's that crackle in this? Like, I'm f- feeling you something... What would you feel if Alan Iverson was next to you? I wouldn't pick him out of it. Like, I have no love. <laughs> they do, but Even I wouldn't pick him out of a lineup. Like I wouldn't be able to go if you if That's you showed me five basketball players. I would be able to close. pick him out of a lineup. I watched the documentary does and I still wouldn't be able to pick him up in a lineup. Does, 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 who are we talking about again? Tony, Tony Collette. Collette. Don't even oh, try Tony that. Oh, I hope. Oh, I hope. Show. I hope she tuned in for movie? that. What's the best movie? What do you six mean? Cents. Muriel's Wedding is what introduced the world to yes, Tony Did she win cents. the MVP when Michael Jordan was playing? <laughs> Thank you. Rest my Hereditary. Head. United States of Tara. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Great show. Unbelievable. She was amazing. You know, I don't do scary movies. I know, and that's your yeah. problem. I don't do basketball, but, but I did it. United you know, States of Tara is not even a scary movie. She no. did do that. What was the... Remember the creature that peed on What was the people when she was right. <laughs> what was... <laughs> that was a bizarre one. What was the one with the, the weird cult that was living in her cubby house? Spoilers. In the back house. She had the, the two kids. She would make mini dioramas, the film that she made, like scary little dioramas of things. <laughs> no, was that hereditary? No. Hereditary. Was that hereditary? hereditary. Yeah. Was that good with the, with the face? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a... You got, you need to see oh, that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I forgot all about the dioramas. She's <laughs> making she was, tiny dioramas. She made dioramas. I love that that's what you focused on. It was, it. It was like she was basically <laughs> doing shoes with Lego. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, you know that movie where she did a lot of craft? You know, she did crafting with toys. <laughs> oh, and had, she was playing. She got to, it was that really cool movie where she got to play with toys. <laughs> How did you step puzzle the horror and go straight <laughs> yeah. to the, the <laughs> miniature <laughs> model building? How is that not scary? Like, walking into... <laughs> my wife walks into my bedroom, but my study, and there's just toys everywhere. It's terrifying. <laughs> like a skill test. She's going for a claw to grab her in. Oh, my God. Uh, Pick her up. All right. Tony well, there Collette. you go, Sean. Definitive yep. answer. Definitive no, answer. it's not. Definitive it's not. answer. I'll never argue with Rove, but this, on this occasion I will. Wow. All right, will. Tony Collette, if you're listening, apologies. <laughs> yeah, um, do know. not drag all McManus's no. down. I know, that's <laughs> right. And most of us are on your side, Tony Collette. <laughs> Give us a call. Um, <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. The reason we've had Rove in this morning mm. is to promote his show, not to uh, promote his ambas- Disagree. ambassadorship. Disagree. <laughs> yeah, my show, Awesome Source, which is uh, happening now. Now, a question to you guys. Yes, Rove. If I said to you, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> who's more famous? Who's more famous? <laughs> Tony Collette or the phrase awesome sauce? Or like, Tony Galati. <laughs> if to go around the group, do we know what the phrase awesome sauce means? I awesome sauce, have announced sauce. the name of my okay. my awesome current sauce. show, and my lead, the first question I get from most people is. I've never heard the term. I've, I've heard, heard awesome before. sauce, and I've heard it because it was on Parks and Rec um, uh-huh. when Andy, um, April says to Andy, I love you, and Andy says awesome sauce, sauce. back to her. Deep is, cut. That's is, a deep cut reference. Is that, is that the reference? It's not specifically that, but yes, that's, it's, it. It's, it's not just when so, something's not just awesome. Yes, it's better than yes, awesome. It's awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome with sauce. Yeah, yes. very big one um, in the states. I had a lot of American friends would use is like, oh, that's awesome sauce. Oh, and okay. of course, the the opposite of that is weak sauce. Okay, <laughs> weak sauce. and I talk to you about that what one. is an awesome sauce in your opinion. Here we what go. What is an awesome sauce? Yes. What is yeah, the best we, sauce so in your opinion? Um, I'm into at the moment <laughs> Frank's red hot. I don't know. Well. <laughs> yes, <they're finished. laughs> it's not the Tony Collette of sauce. Red hot. I don't. Red hot okay. what? Red hot what? The, the red hot sauce that they yeah, have. No. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a hot sauce. I really wish I was yeah. a hot sauce person. It's not, it's not super hot, though. You can get those poo the bed things. And Frank, if you're listening... Imagine having that in an adventure world. An adventure world would be so... It would be awesome, though. I'm surprised that barbecue sauce is back in vogue. When I was young... When I was young, yeah. Um... Barbecue sauce was a very big deal, yes. and it kind of went out of fashion. I'm a fan yeah. of. I, and now I will take I find barbecue maybe it's an age tomato. thing, but yeah. all my nieces and nephews yeah. in mm. particular, if you don't have barbecue sauce, I will do a barbecue like sauce a if it's a hickory. Yeah, well, oh, that's, it's if better you're than having a bacon and egg no, sanger. No a lot of them used to come in tomato yes. sauce, but now they're yes. barbecue, no, no, barbecue sauce. You would always go barbecue. Yeah, I'm a barbecue sauce, through and through. Where do you sit on that one? A barbecue sauce on a. Or in, in barbecue a sauce on a like egg and bacon yes. sort of thing. Well, Absolutely. Sean said bacon and egg, so yeah. Yeah. Different. Like, I once things. said uh, Bert, uh, Ernie and Bert. And everyone's like, oh. "What are you talking about?" I said uh, Ernie, Ernie and Bert from Sesame Street. No, it's Bert, Bert and Ernie. Ernie. Bert and Ernie. Do you Ernie do you Bert, say Bert uh, Costello and Abbott? Ernie and Bert. No, Bert and Ernie. How do I say it? It's Bert and Ernie. I know. Ernie it's, and yeah, Bert. I say I say Ernie and Bert. It's like watching Nathan trying to rub his tummy. <laughs> 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 and here's a controversial one. Sean and I were talking oh. about this before. Oh. Chico roll. Oh, come sauce on, mate. No, yeah, no sauce. Sam, we've, sauce we've discussed or no it's sauce. actually been proven. Do you remember? Sam, so, Rove, it's a family thing over. that we thought, well, I in particular thought everyone had tomato sauce, sauce on a Chico roll. So, Rove is tomato yes. sauce. Yes. Tell Rove, Rove what sauce. the kind of stats were. Sam, you did the poll. Uh, uh, it was less than 1% tomato sauce. Less than one. Yeah, and was, all no. of the people that responded to that were McManuses. <laughs> <laughs> it was just me and George. Like, the, the data was incohesive. It was that. It was that. It was that small. Oh, no one trusts data. It's f- and <laughs> the, it was mostly like sixty like percent was just like plain raw dog. Yeah, just. And yeah. then the, <laughs> I, I think it was like thirty percent was just salt. And then yeah, it was mostly just yeah. plain. Yeah, come from straight from the DC. Ninety percent was. was people were interested in vinegar. Yeah, ninety percent was. What? They yeah. have get it from the Tony Collette with a chico roll. Just because you get vinegar, it from I would not put vinegar in. You know, I would not. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just. <laughs> but I know. But you're saying some ridiculous things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you think you think you know the yes. world? Yes. Yeah, I like, know. But Sean. that's your own little like bubble. Your little like manis yes. cult. That's right. There's more outside. Where you guys come from. Anyway, um, look, I don't talk about this at all in my show, and now I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was far more well, actual source discussion. Maybe, maybe talking about right that instead of your wife. <laughs> the answer was right in front of your face. We oh, have what a am double I doing? to give away to Rove's show <laughs> tomorrow night at oh, Oasis yeah. Comedy Club, which is upstairs at the Brisbane Hotel. It's a yeah. great night Gr- the, at a great venue. 13, 24, 10. We'll give it a call at 10. All right, and if you want to pay to go and see it, any tickets left or are you sold out? Uh, I think uh, certainly tomorrow I know there are tickets available. Yeah. Uh, yes, through uh, fringeworld.com. And someone that's going to the um, show, bring him a bottle of Frank, what is it, Frank? Frank, Frank hot Red Hot. Hot so- red Hot Sauce. Um, anyone from Ad- if, uh, Adventure y- World. If Yali the Dragon is listening. Or Yalet. Or Yalet from Adventure World. Uh, by all means, please. I, I can give you maybe half price, not a full comp ticket. <laughs> 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 not until I'm officially ambassador. This is Right. You'll get they can pay. Hold the dragons price. to ransom. They can pay. They've got a castle. They've got that adventure world money. They're, they're very fine. Come on, they mate. Are Come on, mate. It's a big piece of land. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.